So one of my favorites, honey sriracha chicken. So for this recipe, you're gonna need some pretty basic ingredients. For the chicken, you got flour, you're gonna have your chicken, and what I do with that chicken is I take chicken breasts and dice them into one by one cubes. And then I have some egg whites here, about two eggs, what, two eggs. And then I have some milk and some whipping cream. So uh, about a cup combined, about a half cup of each with this egg white. And I'll show you what I do to coat that chicken next. But for the honey sriracha, the basic items that you're gonna need is butter, sriracha, honey, soy sauce, and rice wine vinegar. Those are the basic ingredients you're gonna need. And so let's get started. The first step with the chicken is you wanna coat it with the flour. So I'll go through and just mix the chicken around with that flour for this first step. The next step is to put, th put your chicken through the flour twice. So the next step is gonna be this milk, cream, and egg white mixture. So you're, after it's been coated in flour, you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and put those pieces of chicken in that mixture, milk mixture, and then it goes back into the flour. So you want those pieces coated really good, and then coat it again with flour, and this is what it looks like after it's been coated twice. Now there's been a, there's a couple, you can use cornmeal. Um, I've always found that the flour works better than the cornmeal. The other thing is I've always found that putting the egg whites in with the milk it tends to get the coating a little crispier on the outside, so I like that part of it. So this is after a couple different ways doing it. This seems like to be the best way to get your chicken crispy. For the next step, a couple basic things to ch cook the chicken. A wok, and what I have is a cast iron wok, and that seems to work really good for this. The second thing is you want some oil. I use canola oil. It always seems to work better when you're frying of this type. And so just coat, put enough of the oil in the bottom of the pan, a couple inches up. And you need to get that to about 375 degrees before you put the chicken in. So that'll be the next step. In addition to the chicken, the honey sriracha, what I'll do is mix some vegetables with this. So what I do separately, just to get them cooked down just a little bit, I'll put start the mushrooms going because I like mine a little bit of tender. So in a se separate cast iron skillet, I throw a little butter down and then I just cook a little bit of these mushrooms down. Not to get them too, too reduced, but I do want to get them started just a little bit. So I'll throw those in there. So my first batch of chicken is going in here and it probably takes, uh, four, I don't know, three to uh, five minutes every batch. And I have eight to 10 pieces in there. And you can see you're just trying to cook these to a nice little golden brown. Just kind of keep it, keep them in there until they get a nice golden brown. Obviously, you want them done, but um, usually by the time you get them nice and golden brown, they're done. And then I'll put it on a little bit of a cooling rack so the oil can kind of drop through. It'll continue to do that until all that chicken is done. So the final product of the chicken looks like this. And again, you want to strain that each piece just like this. And beautiful golden brown chicken. And if you if you have a wok and you, and you want to cook this, it, it, some of the basic things that I would want, recommend to get in a, a scoop like this, this is awesome. Uh, the other one is a scoop like this. These two and this cast iron skillet is fantastic. It's so easy to make this with these things. And uh, the other thing that you want to have in the kitchen, I think you want to have one of these um, pans with the um, grate here. They, this is another thing I use a lot. So these are just some basic essential kitchen things that you're going to want to have. So making a sauce. So I start with the butter and I go ahead and put that in a cast iron skillet and you're, you're going to want, I don't know, three to uh, five tablespoons of butter. And I, I'll, I'll post this recipe for the sriracha on the video I post because there is a little bit of detail and depending on how much you make, there's a variety of how much each goes in there.
But for, for this, I've made about two pounds of chicken, and I'm gonna do about a half cup of, to two thirds cup of honey, and I'm gonna do three to four tablespoons of sriracha, and I use about the same equal parts of the soy sauce, and then about a tablespoon or half to a full tablespoon of the rice wine vinegar, and uh, that gets you where you need to go. So I'll go ahead and cook this in here, get that all worked together, cook it together, and then I'll throw the chicken back on the top and I'll show you what it looks like at the end. So let's put this all together. We got some diced red pepper with this mushroom. And as I'm cooking it at the very end, what I'll do is I'll take that honey sriracha sauce and put a little in there just to kind of give it that extra coating of, of goodness. Look at all that love in that pan. And then I'll have this sliced zucchini in this separate pan. Again, I'll put a little bit of that in there. And this is, this is what your sauce is gonna look like at the end. And as you're cooking it, when you get to the end, you definitely wanna taste it to make sure that's the taste you want. But my gosh, is that so good. This is the final product of the chicken after it's been coated in the honey sriracha. You can see how beautiful that looks. Absolutely fantastic. Uh, if you didn't make extra, you always want to make a little extra to pour over at the end, just in case you want that extra goodness. But I'll dish this up and we'll uh, give it a taste and see what we got. So here's the final product. You got the red pepper, the mushrooms, the zucchini, and of course our uh, star of the evening is that honey sriracha. So you want to just cut into that. Mm. So good. What goes really well with that is a nice cold beer. A nice IPA is perfect for something like this tonight.